Hello, I'm George Kaler, and now you're on the right side. This is my cat, Billy. He's a watch cat. We're going to talk about him after 15 seconds from our sponsor. Tea Time, brought to you by Ideal Comfort, a combined experience of 40 years in providing the highest and most comfortable air quality. Ideal Comfort can also repair most appliances. Go to IdealComfortVA.com. Billy here is a farm cat, and uh, he doesn't like to be held very much. And uh, it's hard to pick him up. He weighs about, oh, 25 pounds or so. And his job on the farm, which we didn't even tell him it was his job, he would patrol the farm looking for coyotes. You'd see him out there even at night patrolling around. And uh, he's got an attitude. It was almost like he was walking around saying, I dare you. I just dare you. Try something. Anyway, I still see Billy walking around on, around Rivermont Avenue now. And he's uh, still checking for coyotes. He is a protector. And, uh, okay, Billy, you can go now. He doesn't like being held. He, he truly is a farm cat. But the coyotes, which like to grab your chickens, and, and uh, they even kill ba uh, lambs and so on. Billy's job was to protect us from coyotes, and he thinks it still is. We have a new legislator, legislature in, in Richmond right now that doesn't believe in cats like Billy, or in people like Billy, who believe it's their job to be sheepdogs among the flock. The problem is the wolves are still going to be there, whether they're sheepdogs or not. A couple of days ago, in my hometown of Lynchburg, Virginia, we had a Second Amendment Sanctuary City Forum. And our city council, which comprises mainly of Democrats, allowed us to talk. And there were over a thousand Lynchburg citizens who showed up, probably 99.99% of them were Second Amendment advocates. And they want us protected from the legislation that's coming down from Richmond, that's going to impact our Second Amendment rights. So unconstitutional, but they're going to do it anyway. So we presented the, what our founding fathers said, about the militia, <laughs> Billy is a volunteer for his militia, or for guys like me who just want to protect the, the sheep from the wolves. It appears we're not going to be able to do that. He doesn't want us to be able to protect. Why? Because he thinks only the government has a role of protecting the people. Well, if you go to Iran right now, the Persians, who absolutely hate the Ayatollahs, they don't want the Ayatollahs. But the Ayatollahs have the guns, and the Persians, flesh and bone against bullets. It's impacting the whole world, and it's impacting us. Governor Northam, who is quoted online as saying, let's make the baby comfortable before we kill it. The governor who wore blackface from the Democrat Party, which you had to be a Democrat to even belong to the KKK. Our governor now wants to do away with our Second Amendment rights. He wants to give us something called red flag laws. Red flag. If you've read about Jim Crow laws, they're the exact same. If you look it up in Wikipedia, it said Negroes are not allowed to carry guns. Hmm, that was a red flag law. And it's soon going to come back around to who's going to be allowed to practice his Second Amendment rights and who isn't. And I'm afraid that Negroes, as Wikipedia call them and our Jim Crow laws call them, are going to be on the outs. And white supremacists like Governor Northam, he's hiding it in public, but we know what he is. They're going to be singled out. The last thing, there's going to be a forum of people in Richmond this coming Monday. When is that? The... Uh, 18th, 20th, January 20. And it's going to be mainly people of the Second Amendment. They want to support our constitutional right to defend ourselves from tyranny. They're going to be rallying and, and talking, and they're going to be in Richmond. And the government there just issued an emergency shutdown of anybody carrying guns. And he gave the Charlottesville 
situation is the reason why. Well, the Charlottesville situation, which was uh, run by a guy named Kessler, who before that was a Occupy Wall Street, one of George Soros's groups. He came in as a white supremacist, stirred up the problems, went back to his liberal causes. And so Governor Northam is using that that he can impose this anti-Second Amendment rule that nobody's going to allow, be allowed to carry guns. Making the news and then using the news, it's tyrannical. If there was ever a time for a Second Amendment, it's now. But as John, as we've heard from our, our other uh, Second Amendment supporters, such as Sean Lott, who wrote More Guns, Less Crime, on how guns are not the problem in areas where concealed carry is allowed, crime is almost zero. He said, from my cold, dead hands, and your host, George Kaler, <laughs> they're going to take my guns from my cold, dead hands. Aren't you glad that we're the side that's armed? I'd like you to go to ontherightside.com, check out my podcast, and also tune into my daily radio spots. If you don't get them in your area, just go to Tea with George, Tea with George. Dot com. One minute a day of constitutional issues. Thank you for listening.